Jeeves or Belgravia, where I got my jackets, my trousers, my school uniforms all dry clean, my sofa. Not anymore. I gave up all and went traveling the world to learn and to see what I can do with what I had and what I have and what can I leave behind for a population of the planet at least something I capture with a gentle and a conscious I to be able to recognize the very life that was one time on the planet so that one day maybe when I'm no longer here can the very essence of life be reverberating in every single human being to a, to a fact that J.W. Marriott Grosvenor House, the back door, pretty much the front door. So, well, taking you on a little journey of the the Mayfair and Hyde Park Marble Arch. It's very different to what I've absolutely have described as one point to what it is today. The people are very much got the money but also have they got the the sense of sense of responsibility sense of consciousness as at least a percentage in their blood so with their billions of cash in the pocket wouldn't it be nice to see the world's hungry homeless and suffering is also raised to a level that they also could enjoy the life as at least a one percent of the life or at least a one percent so that they could actually put some food on the table and this is my journey this is what I have been on a quest to share with the rest of the world where my videos are not being recognized simply because they are not made for approval or for recognition or for thumbs up or for subscription or for influencing but they are made where the others are not able to see where others who are not able to recognize the lives fallen onto the streets and the fragility of 
human and the humanity on earth and the life all around us and its fragility the water that determines our future would we all have enough to go around for 7.7 .7 billion do we have enough water do we have enough, enough food enough arable land so that we can feed the malnourished 30% of the world's population that is hungry and malnourished and in famine state. It is that, it is the content of that nature is what I am capturing as I walk the earth. Whilst others busy in their attire, dressed up for the occasion to please the others, forgetting the life of everyone around seeing themselves happy in turn seeing the others unable to even feed a meal a day for themselves and for their family and this is absolutely absurd that we have created a society a planet that uh, this is central London folks this is central London and over there in the middle there's a tent city people are sleeping in tents in the middle of central London do you think that's normal in 2020 for us to see humanity falling so far onto the ground in simple words there's something that we have done it simply doesn't work and it hasn't worked so every life has cause to be a victim or every life has paid an enormous price and even so even even what's so more interesting to me is that the earth has paid the biggest and the most significant price that the heavy-handedness of the human human beings have caused that a terrible and most painful situation for the planet and life as we call it all around us I hope this message may resonate one day from 2020 is a year that nobody will ever forget I'm sure the year that would have given everyone the opportunity to rise to become wiser instead of being wounded by the monumental tasks and monumental challenges that are facing us today 
we should have risen to become more gentle, enhanced as a human being, responsible as an evolved creature on the planet, and to become more importantly conscious with that and those words here on the third day of Hanukkah on the 12th of December 2020. May I wish you all a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, a healthy, a prosperous, strong, beautiful, reasonable, responsible, conscious New Year and all the years to come. It is that is my wish for all.